Hey, this is Shannon. Remember, before we dive in, if you like content like this or my posts on social media like Facebook and Twitter, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. You can also check out my website, shannonbag.wixsite.com slash mbrs for my readings. You can check out my custom products where I make four leaf clover bookmarks and money art, as well as my shop where I already have money art displayed, my recycled rugs and other cool items. So let's get started into this video. Today I want to discuss my experience working at Wood Forest Bank in Walmart and what it was like and why I quit and would never go back. I feel like it's been long enough since I worked there and I only worked there for a very short amount of time. I worked there from May to September, so that was not even, I think, a full four months. The hiring process, originally I applied for a management job. It was about 20 minutes away from where I was living in Virginia. The job was in North Carolina. I lived on the line. That was going to be a salaried position. When I told them I was heavily considering moving to Greensboro, North Carolina, they then wanted me to apply for the assistant manager position. Quick post edit, they didn't tell me that it was not a salaried position when I went to Greensboro. I found out the day that I was hired that it was an hourly position, which I was fine with. So I did apply. I had two or three more interviews and I should have seen a lot of red flags with those interviews because I had a recruiter contact me. She asked me a lot of questions. She was very friendly. Then I had one of their regionals contact me. Originally it was for the Virginia North Carolina job and she basically was kind of grilling me like how's your sales and you know how, how do you sell me something. So then she told me about the Greensboro job and then I had an interview with the manager at that branch and she was looking for someone that was more on the technical side. I do have technical experience. I was a marketing manager for a mom and pop tech shop while I was in college. That was an internship and I did a lot of technical work as a regional supervisor for a sweepstakes company working on the gaming systems. So that I, I did have experience in. And so the manager was like, look, I'm more sales and marketing and I need somebody that works technical the equipment, which is fine. So I got the job after background checks and drug tests. And I finally interviewed with her in person right before I started. I had already moved and put in my two weeks at my other job and then I started training at this new job. I was hired the same day as someone else. I'm just going to call her my training partner to keep everybody's name out of this. So I should have immediately known something was wrong when I came in and two other people had already quit that had only been working there for less than six months. That was my next red flag. And here's the other thing, is I was lied during the whole process. I asked specifically, what is your turnover rate? They said they don't really have a turnover rate. They keep 90% of the employees that they hire. That was a lie. One of my interviews, the manager asked me, how are you with sales? I'm thinking, you know, this is a bank job. You shouldn't really have to sell a whole lot. She was like, well, this is a retail bank, so it's different. We'll get into that later. I just felt like I was lied the whole time to get into the door. I was told that I would have holidays off, come to find out. You could only get holidays off if you requested them, and your request could be denied, and they were denied every single time. It was just a lot of lies. I straight up saw my manager lie to somebody, to their face. I just didn't say anything. I was just like, wow, we're encouraged to lie to people. We're told that by any means necessary to open accounts. I'll get to that in a bit. I started training with my training partner for a couple of days. The training was terrible. 
one of the things that they insisted on was business accounts, but we were never taught how to open a business account. The training was just, uh, they, they have a bunch of different tasks that you have to do constantly as far as training goes, and, but they don't actually train you on how to do the things that they want you to do. It's just like federal stuff. Anywho, she was the second busiest branch in the nation. The only thing that they cared about was accounts, which I find illegal, but the reason why they are able to do that is because they consider themselves a retail bank. They basically found a loophole in banking, which I feel like the federal government should look into to close up that loophole that there should be, because they're doing what another bank got in trouble for, years ago. Now, we didn't ever falsify accounts, but I could see how it would be done because they are constantly open accounts, open accounts, and they want you to do all this, but they don't really train. You have to like figure it out. They have limits that you have to call other people. Like you can only cash like $500 or you have to call somebody. So they have, and I get that they're supposed to have a list of rules, but when you have all those rules that you have to contact somebody, and then post edit, the customers end up waiting. I had one customer that waited for four hours for somebody to approve something when all the managers do is just look at their email and then move on and never answer you. All females, it was a very, very small branch and they were constantly busy from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. Who said it? I do just want to throw in that even though Wood Forest is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week for the employees that have to work all those hours is terrible. But as a customer, because I am a Wood Forest customer, it's <laughs> really good that I can just walk in there until late into the evening. For a customer, it's totally fine. I'm cool with. But working there, when you don't have any breaks, which was, I, I was told 40 to 45 hours a week, you'd have a day off, whatever. And we were constantly understaffed because the turnover rate was ridiculous. The only redeeming factor was the benefits, the culture. Oh, we're a team, but we want you to get the most accounts because your bonus is based on if you get more than anybody else that works in this branch and anybody else that works for the company, they have like individual bonuses. So you want other people to fail, which is not teamwork. It's just their whole setup is dysfunctional and question they have seriously questionable practices. They lie to get you in the door. They lie to, they don't even care about customers. They will straight up lie to existing customers. They will lie to you to get you to open an account. They're just, it, it's nothing but a big lie and they're all okay with it. They're delusional. And now some of the people that I worked with were okay, but they were all liars. The girls that I worked with would constantly talk about their multiple boyfriends and how none of them know about each other. Another post edit here real quick. I also felt discriminated against because I wasn't a Christian. Everybody, and I get most of America is Christian, but I definitely felt like they were biased against me because of my non-religious beliefs. There was one employee that I worked with. She was just very rude and disrespectful to everybody, but because she got the most accounts, she was able to stay there even though she created a toxic work environment. It was just all around left a terrible taste in my mouth. A big part of what I do requires funding. That's why I sell products online. I book readings and I ask for donations from lovely people like you. If you do enjoy my stuff, you can go to PayPal and send shannonbag at gmail.com. You can do cash app, cash tag Shay, K-M-B, S-H-A-Y-K-M-B, or on my Patreon, which is Shannonbag MBR. You can follow me on Reddit and Pinterest and Instagram as well. Among, I have 16 social media platforms. I'm sure you can find me somewhere. Thanks for watching!